have the new single coming out, uh -huh. and I'm going to be on Disney Jam's 11. Oh, that's amazing. I am so excited. So, what did you do to celebrate the new year? To celebrate the new year, I just hung out with my two best friends, and um, we went to see a movie, and then we went to dinner. Oh, really? Yes, and we got all dressed up, and then went back to her house and watched the Jonas Brothers and Taylor Swift perform. Oh, nice. Yeah. I remember the last time we talked, you were, like, going on tour and doing your own shows uh -huh. and stuff, and I actually saw a video of you in one of your shows. I wanted to know what, like, goes through your mind when you're up there on stage and, like, you're singing. Is there, are, are you like, I hope I don't forget the words, or, or what are you thinking when you're on stage performing? Honestly, I'm not thinking anything. Like, you're not? No, like, I look back after the show and I'm thinking, what, what was I thinking? But I wasn't <laughs> thinking anything. Like, before the show, of course, I am so excited, so pumped to get on the stage. I'm not really nervous. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I gotta get up, I gotta get up. Right. And then, um, while I'm on stage, I kind of just... Do your thing. Do my thing, I guess. And I love seeing all the fans sing along, so that's really cool. Like, are there ever times when you've, like, forgotten the words to songs and stuff where you're like, uh... No, but one time I messed up on goodbyes, like, the chorus, just, like, one little word, but no one Hopefully noticed no it. no one noticed. No, but, but I'm thinking that if I ever do forget my words, I'll just go like this. That's Put my good. microphone like, push out. Push microphone yeah. out to the crowd so they can sing it. That's a good idea. Yeah. So no one will ever notice. Yeah, Savannah, take it up. Getting ready to play your brand new song, your next single. Yeah, if, if you, you only, knew. only knew. Yes. So tell me what that song's about. Well, it's basically just about um, you liking this guy, and he doesn't really notice you or anything. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, pretty self-explanatory. If you only knew, it would be a dream come true to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> is this song like from personal experience, or is it just? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Really? Mm-hmm. It's, it's about you. Oh really? Yeah. If I only knew? If if you if you only knew, it's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully I know something soon. I don't know. <laughs> all right, well, here it is. We've been promising it to you all day long. Savannah's brand new song, If You Only Knew. Radio Disney, Ernie D. This is Savannah. She's taking over Radio Disney. That was her brand new song. That was the premiere of the song, If You Only Knew. So what was it like to hear that song on the radio for the first time? It was really cool because it's totally different from Goodbyes. Uh -huh. You know, it's just a little faster. So it was really cool to hear, like, a second song on Radio Disney. Now, you also have your song, Goodbyes, on Radio Disney Jams 11. I am. With some pretty amazing, like, company, I might add. Oh, too. definitely. I am so excited. I was looking through my CDs a couple days ago, and I found Disney Jams 10. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be, my song's going to be on this in a couple weeks. So Jonas Brothers and Taylor Swift. Yes. David Archuleta. Are there any of those people that you kind of try and duplicate their success? Well, I love, uh... Demi Lovato. I think uh -huh. she's really talented and her new album is awesome. So I would love to follow in her footsteps. Really? So do you have a favorite song that's out right now, by the way? Yeah, I really like uh, La La Land. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Forever and Always by Taylor Swift. I haven't heard that you one. You haven't heard it? No. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, speaking of pretty awesome, you wanted to know how your dog Colby was doing. My dog is good. I actually have a surprise for you. Uh -huh. I brought a picture uh -uh. to show you. You did really? And he's with Santa Claus. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, he's with Santa Claus. He's with Santa. This is... Isn't he so cute? He is. He is. He's a really cute he's dog, adorable. I gotta say. His name's Colby. Hi, and... Colby, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> And then obviously for everybody that can't see the picture, I mean, he's like sort of a blackish, grayish Yorkie who has really long hair coming off of his snout. Yes. He's, he just turned 10. Oh, my gosh. I know. Wow. But he's, but, but he's a pretty hyper dog. Have you, like, convinced mom or dad to get a new dog? A new dog? No. Yeah. Well, actually, for my birthday, I was like, dog would be pretty nice. <laughs> and? And I didn't get one, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> and mom's sending over like, yes, yes. No new dog. Actually, my mom wanted it. My dad did. Oh, really? Yeah. So dad's just kind of like, man. Yeah. But it's fine. I mean, Colby does need a friend, though, so. He does. Pretty soon, or probably should get one. Well, especially, like, to, you know, to, just to give somebody to hang around yeah. with, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, now that you're... Wear clothes with. Yeah, exactly. Do you bring him on the road with you a lot? No, I've never... He's never been on the road with me before. Oh, uh, well, see, now he needs a bait, like a playmate. Yes. At home. But I really want to, because I've got a purse and everything for him. I can just pop him in the purse, and he can, uh, he travel, can travel with, with me. Yeah. yeah, seriously. All right, this is... Hi. Jade, say hi to Savannah. Hi, Jade. Hi, Savannah. How are you? Fine, how are you? Awesome. How did you get into music? How did I get into music? Well, I've just been singing ever since I could talk, basically. And um, I found my manager that I have today, LaBeouge Entertainment, and... Um, We've just been working with them, and they got me to be an incubator artist, and then I got on Radio Disney, which was one of the coolest things ever, so <laughs> that's how I got into music. 
That's cool. So what was it like the first time that you heard goodbyes on the radio? The first time I heard it, I was with uh, my best friend Kendra, and we were in the car listening to it, and it was just so amazing, like, just being able to hear it. It was kind of weird hearing yourself on the radio, but right. it was awesome. And then, like, before, oh, this is Sveta Uten with goodbyes, and I was like, <laughs> yes! That's me! That's me! That is me! <laughs> Roll the windows down. Hi! Yes, I'm on the radio! <laughs> Do you know that's me? Kind of looking out to all the other cars yeah, and yeah. stuff. That's awesome. All right, well, this is Savannah. She's taking over Radio Disney now. More questions, more phone calls in the next 10 minutes on Radio Disney. Radio Disney, Ernie D, and Savannah taking over. Now, you wrote goodbyes all by yourself, right? Yes. And this new song that we just premiered, If You Only Knew, did you write that one by yourself, too? I actually wrote it with Michelle Weiss. She's standing over there. Hi, Michelle. And Matt Bronley, so. Is it different, kind of like, you know, writing your own songs and then working with other people with that um, creative input a little bit? It's kind of different. It was totally different because Goodbyes was one of my first songs I ever wrote. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think that, you know, it had potential to be, like, a good song, but <laughs> I guess it ended up being on the radio and so that was exciting. But writing with people is different because you have to tell them a bunch of things, let your thoughts, you know, in the middle. Everyone just throws their thoughts. But it's a lot of fun. Uh -huh. So I like writing with others. Obviously, you learn a lot, too, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what have you learned from writing with other people? Just to um, be honest, I guess. I mean, throw your all, all of your ideas out. And no matter um, how cheesy or how weird you think a lyric is, you can really use it in the uh, future. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially if you throw something out like, I like cheeseburgers or something yeah. like that. That could turn into a hit song. It could song. turn into a hit song. Actually, there is a song called Coke Fry and a Cheeseburger. I danced to it when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> See, and I was like, I was all thinking like, we got a hit. We got to write a song now, Savannah. Come on, let's go. Let's write about cheeseburgers. Yeah. More with Savannah next on Radio Disney. And Savannah, and we're just chilling here now. I did have a really, really cool question for you. What was the first song that you heard where you're like, man, I want to do music? Beauty and the Beast. Really? Just the whole movie. In I really, general, how old were you when you saw it? Uh, two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's singing. Looks at mom. Uh, <laughs> it's just such a good movie. Did you? Did you? Do you remember singing along to the? Film? Oh yeah, and dancing to be our guest. And yes. Trying to act like the candle <laughs> and the clock. Yes, awesome. This is Savannah. She's taking over Radio Disney now, and it's Ernie D. Savannah, she's here taking over. And phone calls. Let's do one right now. Hello. Hi, Allison. Hi. Hi. Allison, what's your question for Savannah? Savannah, what is your favorite food to eat? Yes. Yes. Food. My favorite food to eat is Indian food. Really? Really. You cool. like the spicy stuff or? No. Not the spicy stuff. Not the spicy stuff. It's got to be pretty sweet, but okay. it's delicious. I've never tried Indian food before. <sighs> it's so good. Oh, man. My mouth is watering. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Mexican food. I love enchiladas. Uh-huh. Tacos. Burritos. Nachos. Nah. Not burritos? No, but nachos, you know, cheese. I actually had Mexican dinner yesterday, and I couldn't have cheese because I was seeing today. Really? So really. you can't, like, have milk products they before you No, eat? or di just dairy. Dairy? Why not? Because it, like, really clogs up the throat. Really? You're like, <clears throat> the whole day. I, I was like, oh, cheese. It was like all over my food, but I couldn't eat it. Because <laughs> you know what's funny is like every morning I wake up and I have my, my throat's clogged. Yeah. And like every night I wonder why, and I, I I don't know, and maybe now I guess it's because all the dairy that I eat at night. That's really bad. It's probably for you. it. It's not. It's just bad. Like if you are a singer. Oh, so since I'm not a singer, it's not bad. Well, then great. All right.